Hello dear students, welcome to the class on Oral Route of Administration Practical Pharmacology. In this class, let's learn about the various factors affecting the absorption through oral route and advantages and disadvantages of oral route of administration. Now first coming to the absorption, those drugs which are taken through oral route, for example, tablets and capsule, they undergo variable absorption. And also the absorption might be affected by many factors like presence of food. So coming to the advantages of oral route. So it is the one of the safest route of administration and it is most commonly used route of administration and it is the most convenient route to administer the drug and also it is more economical when compared to other route of administration. So next moving on to the disadvantages. So once you are using the oral route, there might be limited absorption of the drugs and also food may interfere with the absorption. And also very important thing is regarding patient compliance. So adherence as well as patient compliance plays a vital role in the oral route of administration and also some of the drugs may undergo metabolism in the liver before reaching the systemic circulation thereby reducing their bio bioavailability so if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel i love pharmacology and do not forget to share it thank you